volume one, issue one, autumn, 16. Sooneries and Rumories section, Andrew. I like the wording you chose, brainchild. <laughs> Tell my mother that. Uh, Robert has secured the lease to the former B. Bell Bakery. Just down the road from the newly opened situation brewing. Newly opened situation brewing. Isn't that funny? Yeah, wow. the wording in there. <laughs> With 12,000 square feet, your first mistake is 14,002. To fill, we cannot wait to see how they transform the space. Spring 2017. <laughs> was that was that the opening of it? Spring 2017? That's what, that's what you yeah. said. That's what yeah. you told me. Yeah. At Polar Brewing. That was our Twitter. And I've been locked out of that recently. It's fine. You don't I need it. I got Polar Park Brew. No. Yeah. So next issue... Next issue, we got uh, Volume 1, Issue 2. This is Winter 2016. Let's jump right to it. Uh, Bushido Brewing. Successful <laughs> cask. Anyhow, uh, that didn't materialize. Robert Olmring has been working behind the scenes to bring his dream together, at least on the 14,000 square feet. I'd like to see that. Former B Bell Bakery building has been solidified, and Brewmaster, who trained in Munich, has been confirmed. Aiming for a spring 2017 opening. Still hopeful. Still hopeful on Next. spring 2017. <laughs> what do we got? Spring 2017. Open for business, right? Yeah, open. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> is this spring 2019? It yes. Is. Yeah. It <laughs> is. Not open for business. Uh, Polar Park. Contract brewing is underway to bring beer to the market. What a, what a mistake. In the meantime, <laughs> Robert is moving forward with the old Bebel Bakery building. He should be getting the brewing system this spring. And the plan is to have beer this summer. No words. Should I just skip to the last one? <laughs> it's interesting, though. It's cool to see. It's cool Polar to see. Park, <laughs> last page here. You know what my favorite part is? The one where I broke out of the jail of Sooneries and Rumors. Oh, that's true. Into the catalog. That's only, true. Only to be removed <laughs> <laughs> the very next season. All right, the very next season. Robert and team have successfully launched Nation Beer at the Pint in Edmonton. Wasn't uh wasn't your the captain what's his name Andrew Ferentz wasn't Ferenc. he pouring beers there? <laughs> he was pouring yeah yeah we got in trouble for that. AJLC didn't like that. Can't have a celebrity in the province of Alberta endorse a beer brand. We had to prove to them that he was an owner. Wow. Huh. You're not an endorser when you own it. Yeah. Food for thought. Huh. huh. What if you're famous and then you go broke and you need to work in a bar? Yeah, fair enough. There's a twist. Come on, EGLC. <laughs> Acquiring plugs for Mayor Don Iveson and Premier Rachel Notley. We actually sent our beer down to. Uh, Calgary, when uh, Calgary got ousted by Edmonton in the playoffs, mm -hmm. and we also sent it down to Anaheim uh, when we got ousted. Yes. Uh, Calgary had to send it back to us. I literally shipped beer to Calgary. There's a story there that should probably stay off record, because okay. it has to do with Don <laughs> Iveson's right-hand man, and technically not legal transaction, but... We can edit that out then. <laughs> I, literally met, I literally met him at Craft Beer Market, and he's just like, hey, you Rob? I'm like, yeah, you, you don't, you Dan? Goods in my truck. You gotta watch. I literally go to my truck. Watches on the inside of I go to my jacket. truck. I give him the beer. I put it in his vehicle. He closes the trunk and he drives to Calgary. The old Bebel Bakery space is taking shape. The walls will be adorned with vintage Polar Park signage. Did the did, did we mention former Oilers captain, November Project enthusiast, and Ferrance as part of the ownership team? Fall 2017. Fall for 2017. sure. For sure. Right? No way that won't happen. No, we got our system. At least. Uh, <laughs> what <laughs> more could there be? Okay. <laughs> What do we got? Autumn 2017. We're approaching. Polar Park, last page once again. Every time I just open up the last page. There you go. Young and ambitious Robert. Oh, thank you, Andrew. <laughs> Recently completed a trip to California to pick up his, let's edit that as ours, 1938 25 BBL German brew house. Kettle from Mount Shasta Brewery. Yep, a system that made it through World War II. Oh, 81 years later, we'll be brewing on it. Just nice. So you know. um, uh, a system that made it through World War II. Only oh, have a beautiful scratch build pilot system that should be ready any day now. Double O, custom engineered fermenters from Manitoba. Watch the podcast Ooh. if you want to hear about those custom engineered. The acquisitions. Nice. Here's a good, a good friend, colleague. Yeah. There's Taylor. Taylor. Now, now at Sea Change and not Yellow. Now at Sea right? Change. Soon to be the cover of two craft beer guidebooks. <laughs> this is what I've heard. There's a little rumor in the industry. So this Stephen is what Dance winter brewing. Where did, where did I heard I heard they had their equipment and then they were their equipment was to show up and then they refused delivery of it. Really? From a person who was going to be their brewer and then obviously wasn't. Stephen Dan. Stephen Dan Fruit Company. Up. Oh, here we go. Tom Bassini <laughs> and Gubatuka, a pair of lagering tanks named after the male and female white rhinos that lived at the Alberta game farm, uh, are in the basement. Not the rhinos. The rhinos have long passed. <laughs> Actually, we traded them to Russia for pandas. 
uh, anybody's actually curious. Lesser pandas. Lesser pandas. The Chinese don't give out the great pandas. Uh, the pre-World War II made German brew houses in the building. The concrete is being poured. The former Bebel Bakery is a hive of activity. I love the pun. Nice. Which issue is this? This is issue one of volume three. This is spring 2018. Sp I remember. Spring, spring 2018, 2018, a year ago. A year ago. <laughs> Seed change is uh, not open yet. Nope. Uh, Albeck Brews. Analog's not open yet. Where is Polar Park? Right there. Robert continues to overcome hurdles and delays on, on the massive brewery build. All equipment's in the building, in the brewery. Concrete is finally up to code and set. The main and second floors are undergoing renovation as you read this. Tie over your anticipated thirst by quaffing an Oilers Nation brew. Yeah, you guys sold a bunch of that, didn't you? So much that Molson didn't like it. <laughs> you know what I, they didn't like? I'll tell you what they didn't like. They didn't like when I took a Nation beer label into the arena and rebranded a Molson can and posted only have Oilers Nation repost it to like 60,000 of their followers. Yes. You know what their cans look like now. I got the call. You know from, that's uh, you, right? Yeah. Like their cans have Oilers on it now. Yeah. I got the call <laughs> from G or from uh, the head counsel at the uh, Edmonton Oilers and, and she sweated me for two weeks before telling me, oh, that was handed up to our parent company. And then I got the paperwork from the NHL. Her name was Gia Wang, like J-I-A-W-A-N-G out of New York, head counsel, NHL. I, uh, I remember that post because my first thought was like, oh, you're going to get sued. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's, a, that's, a, that's not going to go well. <laughs> they, hey, you're legally allowed to take a label and, and do what you want. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> see, I didn't realize that it wasn't your, your canned product. Yeah, oh, I didn't yeah, realize literally you just put the label this, yeah. nice. If you look at the photo, you can see the black rim of the label underneath because Molson has like uh, one sixteenth larger fucking labels. Uh, that also solves the mystery of how the fuck you got it in there in the first place. I smuggled it in up somewhere. Yeah, uh, <laughs> the end is, yeah, can you imagine? The end is near. Oh, what issue is this? This is summer 2018. Summer 2018. The near, or perhaps the beginning, Robert says, this will be our last Soonery. Quote me on that. <laughs> what issue is this? <laughs> this is issue, issue autumn 2018 of the Alberta Craft Beer Guidebook. And wow. Omen Brewing opened up. Odd Company will probably open up. The Monolith, for fuck's sakes, will probably open up. With beers before we do. Not actually. SYC, the Growlerly. Interesting. Robert and team continue to build out the finish. The gargantuan, yet impressive former B Bell. All equipment's placed. Boulders Commission, white oak flooring is in. According to AB Beer Guys Intel, the end of construction's in sight. October 2018. Woo! Where's she's at? This is the issue we made a full page. There you go. You see it. You see it here first. Volume 3, Issue 4, Winter 2018. Because you're like, yeah, Christmas, we'll be, we'll be open in December. Which is fine. And then January. I think we gave you the page because you're like, you'll be open in January. After incorporating 1,206 days have passed until receiving our occupancy and what the journey it was. Former B-Bell building has had a hole cut in the main floor, reinforced second floor, completely redone concrete basement. The German brew house predates World War II and was driven to Edmonton from California. The brewery is themed on the history of the Alberta game farm. That the family, uh, that was the family business for three generations. Very cool. So no sooneries in that issue. No sooneries in this issue. Back to the sooneries early. <laughs> but then we kicked you back in the sooneries. I like watching the price of the book increase. Too. Yeah, right. right. Maybe maybe when it's a ten dollar novel, I'll uh, I'll have a page. <laughs> Please make the next issue ten dollars. Uh, uh, Just for you. The last the last soonery so far. Uh, uh, spring. Spring. Yeah. Spring twenty nineteen. 2019, it's current. The water boil happened. That's true. License to follow. We're licensed. Yep. Go visit them this spring. There's nothing wrong with that. Accurate. That's accurate, Andrew. So, worst case, summer, but this spring. May. May. May uh, 2019. Sweet. That's Lo it. Love it, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. Cheers. And you want to put cans in your